In today's video, I'm going to be fully optimizing a $500 gaming PC using only free optimizations. But with that said, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first tweak we're going to be doing is setting our background to black. So right click on your desktop, click on personalize, then change this to solid color and click on black. And then for a benchmark before we do the entire optimization, before my processes are at 163 and I have very high utilization on everything. The next tweak we're going to be doing is going to task manager, clicking startup and disabling every single thing in here that we don't need starting when our PC first boots. And then it should look like this. Now I'm going to be using my free tweaking panel, which you can find on my discord, discord.gg slash risen. So go to my discord to go to the tweaking panel channel, then click on this go file link right here. And then right here, just click this download button. Then all you need to do is right click on this app, click on run as administrator, then click on run. Click yes. It's going to download the needed resources and make a restore point. First thing we're going to do is type in one for windows settings. And then I'm just going to go through and do all of these. You can take your time and read it if you want to know what it does. And then for MSI mode, you just want to select your graphics card, turn on MSI mode, then put the interrupt priority to undefined and also do this for your ethernet and your Wi-Fi. and then click apply in the top, right? And then the last option is data queue size. If you're following along with this video, put your CPU and GPU in the comments down below and I'll tell you what range to put for your data queue size. And then with that done, we're done with the free tweaking panel. So now I'm going to use my process lowering panel. Then it's the same as before. You just want to download it off this go file link. And then from this, I need WinRAR. Then just extract here, double click on this folder I made, create a system restore point just in case anything goes wrong. Go to system configuration, click services at the top, hide all Microsoft services, and then uncheck any update or elevation services in here. And okay, X without restart run auto runs, then go to log on and uncheck everything in here besides the two NAs and the CMD.exe, then run the process panel. And then this PC is using Wi-Fi, not ethernet. So I can't disable everything, but I can do one, two and three. And then with that done, I'm done the process panel. And then the last tweak that I'm going to use is my Nvidia pack. So right here, click on this go file link. Once again, click on download. Then just extract this NVIDIA pack, open it up, run MV clean install. And then for NVIDIA 50 series, use 580.97 and 40 series and before use 572.6. So click manually select a driver version. And then I'm on a 3070 on this PC. So I'm going to use 572.6. If you're confused, just comment down below your graphics card and I'll tell you which one to use. And then we don't need to use MSI utility because we already did that in the free panel. And now we just need to wait for this to download. Check the top three, uncheck allow automatic reboot, and then check the bottom three. Then disable driver telemetry, disable NVIDIA HD audio sleep device timer, disable HDCP, and then check these two boxes at the bottom for easy anti-cheat. Then click on install. All right, and then once the driver is finished installing, you just want to double click NVIDIA Profile Inspector, then run the EXE as administrator, then drag this risenfree.nip over this. This is going to do all your NVIDIA control panel settings for you, then just apply changes and close out of that. And then go back and run this NVIDIA dblow as administrator. This is just going to double check everything is debloated. And then there's just one last thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to enable XMP in my BIOS to set my RAM speed to the highest possible. So if you don't know how to get to your BIOS, hit your Windows key, type in reset. It'll pop up with this window. Click on restart now right here. Then this is going to bring you to a blue screen. Click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then UEFI firmware settings, then restart. And then this is going to load you into your BIOS. And then once you're in your BIOS, if you're on easy mode, it'll probably just say XMP or DOCP right here. If you're on a Ryzen CPU, I recommend enabling DOCP. And if you're on Intel, do XMP right here xmp click it and then click enabled and then if you don't see this switch your bios to easy mode in the bottom right or click advanced mode 
go to AI tweaker or OC tweaker or just tweaker at the top, you will either see DRAM configuration or XMP mode, something like that. It's pretty easy to find out. You can ask chat GPT with your specific bios and I'll tell you how to do it. But once you've enabled it, just click exit in the top right and then save changes and reset or save changes and exit. It's all the same thing. It's just worded a little bit differently on different biases and then click on OK. And then one last thing I'm going to do is just turn my search to hidden because I don't like how that looks. I'm also going to get rid of task view and get rid of search highlights. And now in task manager, I have 119 processes, which is still pretty bad. But keep in mind, I'm only using free tools here. And my memory is also now using the maximum speed that it can go. So now I'm going to load up Fortnite and see how much FPS I'm getting after doing this free tweaking guide. All right. So now when I'm just looking around, I'm getting around 520 FPS. And when I do an emo and look straight up, now I'm getting almost 700 FPS. So I get around 60 to 90 FPS from this. So I really recommend that you do try out this tutorial. If this video helped you out, check out my paid optimizations available at risentweaks.com. We have over 7,000 positive reviews and we will completely optimize your computer for gaming, giving you the highest possible FPS, lowest possible delay, and overall best performance for your computer. But with that said, I hope you all have an amazing day.